We're going to go take a look at what our KPRC2 meteorologist Anthony Yanez is up to during his school visit today. I know today. he is having so much fun over at Westlake Preparatory Academy in Richmond uh, with his l weather lab. Anthony and the students you can see there on your screen. Uh, they're getting ready to experiment with the fun side of STEM only on KPRC 2 Plus now. He'll be challenging them to look at weather as more than just a forecast, which is so cool. Yeah, so let's toss things over to him right now. Hey, Anthony, how's it going? Hello and welcome to our second school visit that is live here on KPRC 2. Before I get started, today is a special day here at Westlake Preparatory Academy because we have Lucas here. It's his birthday today. Stand up, Lucas. Everybody, let's sing happy birthday to Lucas really quick. Happy I did my best not to sing because I have a horrible voice, but my mic is here, so I have a feeling they picked up on some really bad singing. But here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk today about what makes our weather. And so you guys, before we went on live, I said what makes our weather, and a few of you said, hey, clouds, precipitation. Nobody said drought, but we've been dealing with the drought the last several months. And also it's hurricane season. We haven't had to worry about hurricane season where we live so far, and hopefully it stays that way. But this summer it's been about heat. It's been about drought, rain, and hurricanes. But weather starts with the sun. If we didn't have the sun, we wouldn't have weather. If we didn't have the sun, we wouldn't be here. But we're going to talk about how the sun impacts weather specifically for us. So first of all, let's give some basics about the sun. The sun is 100 times bigger than the Earth. The sun is 93 million miles away from us. It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the, from the, for the light from the sun to reach us, which means we walk around in old light. The light that we're walking around in right now has already been here, or just got here, eight minute, or was, was sent out 8 minutes and 20 seconds ago, and now we're finally feeling it. So we're always walking around in old light. So heat from the sun comes through us through a process called electromagnetic radiation. None of you guys said that because that's something electromagnetic radiation you usually learn about in mid-school and in high school. But I'm going to make this really easy to understand. Here's an example of electromagnetic radiation and how the sun heats us up. We're going to show you what's called a radometer. So the sun has atoms that carry heat particles all around us. Those particles are the reason we warm up. So heat energy is created. So this light is going to represent, oops, let me, I just dimmed it. Let me make it bright again. This light is going to represent the sun. Pretty bright. Don't you think it's a good flashlight? <laughs> this, uh, yes, it's way bright. So it's going to be a bright sun. When I put this next to this radometer, what's happening? It's spinning. It's spinning. Why it wasn't spinning before, why wasn't it spinning before? The reason it wasn't spinning before is because there's no sunlight right now that's hitting this. We're on an inside room. But what I'm doing is I'm having this flashlight represent the sun by sending forth radiation, electromagnetic radiation, and that's creating a spin. So the reason the sun heats us up, the reason we feel heat from the sun, is a process called electromagnetic radiation. If I take this away, eventually this will stop. So does everyone understand the advanced concept of electromagnetic radiation by simply showing how atoms move from the sun, they hit our earth, and that's why we heat up. Pretty cool. So that's electromagnetic radiation. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and eventually you're going to see, and it's already started to slow down a little bit. Now, visible light from the sun, we can see and we can feel it outside. Now, I love this picture. I just wanted to show you this. This is called a halo. It's around the sun. Whenever there's days where you have really thin clouds that go up uh, 30,000 feet in the sky, the same level that airplanes fly, and you look at the sun, many times when they're that thin, you'll get a ref uh, refraction from the sun, and you'll get a perfect circle or a halo around the sun. But that's visible light. Now we're going to talk about 
ultraviolet light. So this is what we're going to do. Caroline, take the four beads. We have our students picked out for this. And what you guys are going to do with your teacher is you're going to go outside and you're going to come back in just, oh, it doesn't take long, a few minutes to a few seconds. It shouldn't go out. So go ahead and go outside. We're going to keep talking while you guys go out. You're going to go out with your teacher. And then when you see a change, I want you to come back. Okay, so everyone say bye. Bye. They're not going to be gone long. So we're going to talk about UV light now. UV, ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light, we cannot see. I'm going to tell you what they don't know. These are UV light beads. They're clear. The reason they're clear is, again, there's no sunlight here. But sunlight, when it hits these beads, there's going to be a reaction that we're going to see when they come back into this room. But we don't see UV light. And UV light is actually really dangerous because it's what gives us a skin cancer. But UV light gets blocked out by the stratosphere. So it's important to have a good, healthy stratosphere because it blocks out most UV radiation. And so we live at what's called the troposphere. That's where all the weather's created. So when I asked you about what makes weather, that all happens here in the tro uh, troposphere. You have the mesosphere and the thermosphere. Our atmosphere blocks out most UV lights. So let me do this while we're waiting for them because they should be back any second now. This is a UV light now. So it's kind of similar to the flashlight. If you notice, that stopped going. If I put this up, what you're going to see, and this isn't very po powerful. Okay, here they come. Let's see if we can see it. Let's see if we can see it. Everyone look away. Okay, what's happened to the beads? It turned purple. They turned purple. They turned purple. And now they're not purple. They're not, because why? Because they're in sunlight. They're, in, they're inside. And so I'm trying to show you guys what they saw. How bright purple was it? It was pretty cool, huh? And then it now is white. Yep, it's white now because you're away from sunlight. And so you can kind of see it here. It's not a great view because, again, this isn't really powerful. But you get an idea that there's a light purple and a purple, and it's hitting UV light. So does everyone understand UV light, UV radiation? Yes. What protects us from UV light? The atmosphere. Yes, the atmosphere, the stratosphere specifically. So there it is. Still a little purple. We give it a couple seconds. There's no more UV light or radiation, and it's turning white. So we've talked about two concepts about what makes our weather. The first thing is electromagnetic radiation, heat from the sun. Atoms come through and heat us up. The second thing is UV radiation, which we cannot see. It's not visible. It's invisible. We don't, we're not able to see in the spectrum. But if you go outside, you know it's there. Because if you have something like UV beads, it shows you that. So let's move on. The other types of heat are what are called conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct content, contact. And you guys are going to help me with this. So I need four people to help me. We're going to have you because you really wanted to be on TV. Come on up. Everybody? OK, what's your name? Alexandra. Alexandra. I want to say hi to Alexandra. You're in second grade, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need a third grader. Third grader, raise your hand. Let's do, yes, come on up. Yes! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You're excited. What's your name? Alameda. Alameda. Everybody say hi to Alameda. Hi, Alameda. Now I need a fourth grader. Someone who didn't go outside. Let's go, yeah, what's your name? Evelyn. Evelyn, come on up. Okay. But you're, aren't you going to be my strong? You're going to be my strong kid, right? Okay, come on up. Okay. I'm sorry, Evelyn? Evelyn. Evelyn, everyone say hi to Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. And then what's your name? Liam. Liam. Okay, hi, ready? Liam. We are going to do an experiment with conduction. Again, conduction is heat <coughs> through contact. So if I put my hands together and I go like this, what happens to my hands? They start heating up. That's conduction. If I were to hold up hands with my wife and walk down the street, our hands would eventually get warm and they would get to a point where, hey, we just can't hold hands anymore and you need to take a break to cool off your hands. That's conduction. Okay, so here's your example. What's your name again? Alexandra. Alexandra, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to try not to touch it at all. And you're going to wrap your hands around the bottom. Okay, be careful. It's glass, so you just have to wrap it, like hold it. Okay, ready? Don't drop it, but here it goes. Wrap. And then everybody watch what happens to this. Oh. What's going on? Because of the heat. The heat of her hands, the conduction, she's touching the water, and now it's going up. Okay, ready? You, you're next. 
Turn around, show everybody what happens to the purple color. Do you see how it's going up? Okay, you next, hold the bottom. Your favorite color is green. Okay, Evelyn, ready? What is happening? Conduction. You guys are all creating heat through contact. Through These are called hand boilers because your hand is heating this up. Nothing, it wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there before, and now it's basically boiling. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at the experiment here with Evelyn. She's holding the top, and she made it go back down because it's heating the top, and so it's pushing. Yeah, it can go in either direction because it's, that contact is important. So does everyone understand? Everyone give a big round of applause for everybody here. Let's put them back. Let's put them back down. Good job. Everybody put them right here. Great job. Was that cool? Awesome. Okay, you got your green. Oops, that's okay. As long as it's not falling from your hand to the ground. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it boils. Okay, good job. And now they go down. So, remember, can you guys have a seat? Big round of applause for everybody. So, we've talked about electromagnetic radiation. We have talked about... UV radiation, UV light, and now we've talked about conduction. Let's talk about a couple of other things that make heat. And again, this is all things that make weather. Oh, did I go too far? Let me see if I went too far. Conduction? Nope. Now we're going to talk about convection. Convection is really what makes our weather. So on a day like today, you have clear skies in the morning. The sun heats the earth. The air heats up and rises. Clouds condense. Rain and storms form. This is a picture of... Evaporation. Somebody said what makes weather and somebody said evaporation. There's your picture. Do you see? Usually you can't see evaporation because it's invisible. But do you see how because that pillow that had dew on it in the morning is heating up, now that dew, that moisture, is now evaporating into the sky. And on a day like today, it will turn into clouds. It will condense and become clouds. It could become rain and then it could become lightning. But this is heat created through liquid and gases liquid in the dew, gases in the water vapor. We can't see water vapor either, but we see it when it condenses and it becomes a cloud. Does everybody understand that? Yes. Okay. You're my, my, you're my strong kid. Come on up. And I needed a strong kid in the background. Okay, come on up. What's your name? Right there. Yep. No, right here. Right here. Come on. Yeah. Janelle. Janelle, come on up. What's your name? Luna. I'm sorry? Luna. Luna? Luna. Luna. Muna. Muna. Got it right? Okay. Nice meeting you, Muna. You said, I'm sorry, Janelle. Janelle. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to create a cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two drops of rain in here, two drops of water. I put three, actually. I'm going to close this up. Okay, what is the, can you read what the temperature is? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see what the temperature is? Not really. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can you see that? No? Okay, well, here's what I'm going to have you do. What's happening is we put a couple drops of water in here. We are going to heat it up by, by pumping it up, okay? We're going to heat it up. So we are going to turn this water into water vapor, and if they're really strong, we'll make a cloud. So right now we have a solid, and that's water. We're going to make an invisible water vapor, like that evaporation. When we open the top, we're going to create the cloud. Okay, Muna. Strap, strong. Keep going. Keep going until you, man, you're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Keep going. Real strong. You got it. Oh, yeah, look at those muscles. Everyone see little Muna's of the muscles? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, don't, okay, keep going. How, how are you doing? Oh, good. you're good. You're good? Yeah, I'm getting tired. Okay. Oh, you're getting tired? Okay. Ready? Everybody watching? Let's see how what happens here. We're going to pop the top. Watch inside. You're gonna, the cloud's going to be inside the bottle. Hey. Ah, I didn't, did you, I didn't really show up. We're going to try it again, okay? Let's try it again. You did see a little bit? Okay. We're going to try it with you. Go ahead. So what's happening? Is it heating up? How does it feel? It feels kind of squishy, I guess. Okay. It's, what's going to happen is it's going to feel hard to do. Tell me when you get to the point where it's like, I feel like I can't put any more air in this. So the pressure's increasing. It's heating up. Yeah, I can't do this no can't more. Can't do it anymore? Okay. Good job. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, you could do more. Okay, let's see if this works. Ready? Hopefully this works and we can get a good cloud out of this. Ready? Whoa! 
There it is. So the sun. Yeah, I've got a round of applause. Round of applause, everybody. So, do we understand convection now? Yes. Convection is heating things through liquid and gases. Liquid, which are the two drops of rain. Gases, which is the, turns invisible. And then we condensed it and created a cloud. OK, everyone got that? Yeah. Electromagnetic radiation. We've got UV light. We had, what was the other thing? Um, conduction? Yeah. Yes. Con Oil. Convection? Convection. And I think that's where we are right now. OK, let's move ahead. So our atmosphere is thin and it's delicate. That atmosphere where all the weather occurs, do you see that thin line right there? Yeah. That's our atmosphere. Oh. Why is our sky blue? All the colors of the spectrum hit our atmosphere, but blue is the only color that makes it through. The color blue is a short wavelength, so it scatters easily. So outside, when you look and it's a clear day like this, the sky is blue. Actually, every color of the atmosphere is getting through. We can't see it because blue is the only light that gets through. But if you look with these special glasses, and we'll put them in front of the... Tell me what you see. We're going to put it in front of the camera. What do you see? Uh, what do you see? Describe to everybody I what you see. I see blue, red, Let's and see. maybe yellow. Okay. We're going to put this in front of the camera. Let's see if the camera can see. So the camera now pointing to the light, should be able to see all the colors of the spectrum. Oh, that's cool. Wait, yep, there it is. Yep, you can see that on the TV screen there. Yeah. Yep. So every color's here, but blue gets scattered out because it's a short wavelength. But then why are our sunsets red, yellow, and orange? Because when the sun is lower on the atmosphere, on the horizon, these are the colors that show up. And so you're able to see a few more colors here. But that's because the sun is now scattering red and orange that we usually don't get to see. OK, we're going to get ready to do our live weather. But we're going to start with how I forecast the weather. I have radar, I have satellite, I have uh, recording stations that tell me how hot it is. So for example, if this was a recording station, it would tell me in this room, it is 79 degrees. Are you kidding me? And I'm wearing a coat? It is so warm in here. Where is the air conditioner that's supposed to make it 72? So anyway, that's our temperature in our recording station. Wind speeds, humidity, dew point. I have surface maps, models that I go to school for to understand how our weather moves, how the sun affects our weather, and how it moves our weather around the globe. And then I also look outside, just like you guys did when you went out with your UV lights. If the rock is wet, it's raining. If the rock is swaying, it's windy. If the rock is hot, it's sunny. If the rock is cool, it's overcast. If the rock is white, it's snowing. If the rock is blue, it's cold. If the rock is gone, tornado! So you also have to look outside, too, and not just be in front of a computer all the time. Then I make the graphics, or Caroline and I make the graphics. Caroline made a special graphic for these four kids. And then I go in front of a green screen. What you guys will notice is that when you go in front, it flips you. So sometimes the hardest thing to do is to point where you want to point it. So here's um, your opportunity. First of all, nobody here has green on because, well, a couple people do. So it would be interesting to see what you guys look like if you came in front of the green screen. But in front of the green screen, if you have green, you will what's called key out. But I can't wear green, and you guys don't have green. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to do the weather for your city. Where do we live? Houston, Houston, Texas, Houston. Okay, Houston. You guys like, how about your school? Where, where do we live? Or where, where do we go to school? Wesley. Awesome. You're going to give the temperatures, what's our weather today, and what happens tomorrow. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, come on over here. We're going to put the camera on a tripod. We're going to turn on the light. We're going to switch over now so you guys can see what they do. So who's first? Caroline. Caroline, come on up. Caroline, who made the maps, and Caroline is up. Here's the mic. We're going to switch over here. You're going to press this middle button right here. That's going to advance your maps, okay? Or do you want me to do it? I can advance the maps, or you can advance the maps? 
This one right there? Yeah. Okay, I'll You're going to do, do it? it? Okay. Yes. So, Caroline, you're going to look over here, and I'm going to get out of the way. In just a moment, they are going to zoom into you, and you're, the maps are going to show up behind you. So, I'm going to get out of the way. Okay? Can you all, yep, okay, so let's see. I think, um, can you go up higher? Because do you see how it's kind of low? If Can you go up higher on the tripod? Yeah. Well, actually, that's the, that's the right thing. I think, you know what? You don't have, we'll just do it a little bit. Not much. I think it's good, too. Okay. All right, Caroline. Do you, okay, while we're setting up, do you see the, you can see the, the numbers, right? Yes. Okay, and if they get rid of the banner, if it'd be great if you can get rid of the banner, um, at least for part of this, so she can see kind of what's at the bottom of the screen. Okay, Caroline, it's all you. Go ahead. Oh, and you know what, Caroline? Let's do this. Look, so you can see all the maps. I'm going to bring you back here. And you're good to go. Okay, so look at the camera, look at the side, and you're good to go. Okay, Caroline, go. Push the button? Yep, when you're ready, yes. So talk about the weather. Um. It's okay. <laughs> so describe what you're seeing and tell me about what you're seeing. Um, I see the satellite radar. Great. And then once you're done, you're describing it, press the button again. And what's happening now? Um, I see uh, Dallas and Houston and a few others. Great. Okay. So once you're done, you press that button. Ooh, okay, this is a rainfall future cast. How much rain are we expecting today? Um, not a lot. Good. Press it again. How much rain are we expecting tomorrow? Quite a lot. Good, good. Okay, great. And um, afternoon rain is going to be 30%. It's 94 degrees there. And on Thursday, it's going to be in the 80s, 60% rain. And... Um, more rain on Friday, 40%, 90 degrees. Great. Excellent, excellent. You have Caroline's special map now. You're, this is the big surprise. What's Caroline's special map? Can you read that? Uh, Halloween is in 48 days. Thanksgiving <laughs> is in 71 days. Christmas is in 103 days, and last day of the school is 254 days. Yay! <laughs> Excellent job! Excellent job! Give me five. Okay, who's next? Okay. Okay, so now that you know, so Caroline, great job because she didn't know what was coming up. You guys did now know, okay? But so this time, because this is official, you're on TV, you're on KPRC2, <laughs> I want you to look, introduce yourself, say what school you go okay. to, and then do the forecast. Okay. You ready? Okay, yes. here you go. Uh, and don't do forget, press? oh, you're pressing the middle button unless you want me to. Uh, I'll okay, don't forget, start with start with uh, my name. your name and what school you go to. Okay. Hi, my name is Emery and I go to Westlake Academy. Do I look at this? Yeah, you can you just talk about whatever you're seeing. I see that there is a, um, looks like there's a little bit of, um, can I? Yep, yeah, you can click, yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to have you take a step back so they can see the map and you, yep. In Houston, it looks like there's a little bit of humidity and Dallas is... Looks like it's not as hot there as it is here. Looks like we're not going to have as much rain as today. Let's see what it does tomorrow. Okay. Looks like there's going to be um, a little bit more rain today uh, tomorrow than because there's no rain today. On Wednesday, it's going to it's going to be a thirty. 30% chance of raining. It will be 94 in the afternoon. Thursday, it'll be a 
60% chance of raining, and it will be 88 degrees. Your mic is Do you want me to read it? Sure, if you okay. want. Halloween is in 48 days. Thanksgiving is in 71 days. Christmas is in 103 days. Last day of school is 254 days. Yay! Big round of applause. Big round of applause. We have two more kids. All right, Rylan, right? Raylan. I'm sorry, Raylan. Okay, Raylan. Okay, two minutes? Okay, we have, so here's what we're going to do. You are going to do this quick. One minute. You have one minute to do this weather. Introduce yourself, say hi, and then at the very end, when I get a countdown, I'm going to come in with you, and we're going to say goodbye together, hey. okay? Hi, my name is Raylan Ludicky, and I go to Westlake. Um, wait, I can't. Press the middle button. Yep, the middle button. Yep. Wait, uh, um... I can't, can I switch? Yeah, you can switch. You just keep pressing, keep pressing. Um, Dallas looks like it doesn't have that much humidity. <laughs> Houston looks like it has a lot. Um, <laughs> I, can, can I switch? That's, yep, you can switch. Right. You can keep pressing that button. Okay. So it looks like I don't. Yeah, that's how much rain's gonna be here okay. tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna get quite a lot of rain. Good. And then, um, on Wednesday there's a 30% chance. It's gonna be 94 degrees and 30% chance of rain and 60% chance that it's gonna be in the 80s. And wait, how did I? And a 40% chance there's going to be more rain and it's going to be 90 de degrees. There's your countdown. Halloween is in 48 days. Thanksgiving is in 71 days. Christmas is in 103 days. And the last day of school is in 254 days. Yay! Good job! Good job! Great job! Hey, you guys, we are getting a countdown to be done, but I'm going to end with this. For Halloween one year, I wore green, sort of. I put green to cover my head, and I went as the Halloween Headless Weatherman. Thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it.